This is One Dollar Ride, a 2016 Steam release from Back to Basics Gaming and Be Happy Studios that you could purchase for, well, one dollar. Unless you happen to find this on sale and then you could buy it for far less than a dollar. I think I paid a quarter or two for this game. In any event, One Dollar Ride is one of those cheapo games that strongly adheres to the old adage of you get what you pay for, and indeed, that's precisely what you're getting with One Dollar Ride. One Dollar Ride is a simple spaceship reflex testing thing where you attempt to keep your ship moving by keeping your speed up. And you keep your speed up by running over these colored comets or energy bolt looking things. The idea is that you use the left or right arrow keys, or the on-screen buttons using a mouse or a touchpad thing, to switch lanes and every so often you'll come across a number of icons and obstacles. Aside from the speed boosts that you need to pick up in order to continue playing, there's also health pickups to protect you from hazards, rockets that will automatically shoot if you're in danger of a collision with a set of asteroids, and even money pickups which add to your overall score. Once your speed gauge empties or once you've taken enough collisions to destroy your ship, the game ends and takes you back to the title screen. And that's it. That's all there really is to it. Like I said before, you can use the keyboard to control your ship or you use the mouse cursor or touch device to move the ship with the on-screen buttons. There is no gamepad support of any kind whatsoever to be found in One Dollar Ride. Not that you really need it, honestly. A keyboard will suit you just fine. However, I don't like to having to use the mouse to navigate the menus. I guess an on-screen cursor or selector using the arrows was outside the game's scope, which, to be perfectly frank, is rather small. One Dollar Ride is a reflex game, where you have to quickly move your ship over the correct icon that will keep your ship moving and avoid the hazards that will slow your ship to a crawl. You gain no points whatsoever for the distance cover, only from the money pickups, which by the way, add zero to your speed, and also, did I mention, that you can only pick up one icon per wave, so even if you pull off the feat of switching lanes in hopes of killing two birds with one stone, you only get the one bird while the other bird moves out untouched by your feebleness. And perhaps feebleness is the right word. One Dollar Ride is simplistic fare. It is straightforward fare. And for what it does, it does well enough. Which is not exactly glowing praise, but for a game like this, expectations should be tempered and the bar set rather low. About as low as my voice is right now recording this second segment in 5 in the morning. Whenever you get a game over, you're not given an option to restart from there, but are sent back to the title screen. Fortunately, this is not Symphony of the Night, where restarting a game after a game over takes five hours to accomplish, but it's still a mild annoyance. And while I'm not going to lose any sleep over the lack of gamepad support, you're just moving your ship between predetermined lanes after all, the option would have been nice for those who prefer that particular method of control. But like I said before, the keyboard control will suit you just fine, I don't know if there's any reason you want to use the on-screen buttons with your mouse, but if you have a touch device, that would probably work, but like, like I said, a keyboard would be suited just fine for something like this. Also, though it hasn't been the case for me, apparently the game's performance is dependent on the refresh rate of your monitor. According to one Steam user whose review I'll read verbatim here, if you run a 120Hz, 144Hz setup, you can't play the game at all because your ship runs out of speed before even reaching the first power-up. Sloppy programming there. Now like I said, the game runs fine on my end, but that is something to consider if you're even considering buying this for your PC. I also have to question the logic in adding a health bar. Sure, if this empties, your ship explodes and the game ends, however, this is an extremely rare occurrence, since the graver penalty in hitting obstacles is a reduction in speed which usually prevents you from reaching the next set of power-ups needed to continue the game. So if you're going to pick up health, do it for the minor speed boost, not for the health boost because you really don't need it. Even the rockets feel like a waste since they fire automatically and only in the path of asteroids and not the black holes that really slow you down. When you start the game, you only have one ship to play with, but eventually through certain conditions and presumably if the game interests you that much, you can unlock two other ships with slightly different capabilities. Although considering I haven't gotten that far and probably won't anytime soon, this is just mere speculation on my part. While there are six achievements in the game, they're not Steam achievements, at least not as of this recording. Only in-game achievements, so I don't know if they've got that in yet. Although you do get Steam cards. That's something, I guess. I suppose. For somebody out there, I never got the appeal of the Steam cards, but I digress. 
$1 Ride looks like one of those flash game things with relatively simple looking graphics and not much else going for it. At the very least your spaceship looks somewhat decent, the thruster particle effects are alright, and the warp speed effect whenever you're right is really fast, is fine, but aside from that not much else to say. The menu is blind, the iconography of the display looks a bit crude, I guess for the $1 budget it's alright. The sound is generic, a couple spacious sort of tunes complement the game but feel tiresome after a while. Not to mention it's quite loud and overpowering but you can turn the music off if desired. Sound effects are minimal but they get the job done for better or worse, again, not much else to say there. Overall, if you have a dollar to spare and you absolutely need a spaceship riding quick reflex game in your life, then do yourself a favor and give $1 ride a try, but only when it's on sale where you can get it for much cheaper than a dollar. But then again, you might want to save that dollar for something else instead. $1 ride does its thing well enough and plays well enough under the right circumstances, but feels a bit lacking in some places and in all honesty, is probably best suited as a mobile game rather than something on a PC. I'm sure if you browse through the internet and ventured into all those flash game sites you'll find a game remarkably similar to this and with a much lower price point. So I'll be stepping off this ride and moving on to something else. Good night.